Hey there, snipers. <clears throat> Sorry I didn't do my little thingy. My fingers are kind of froze right now. I just drove my whore in the rain for my footballs to hear. So, yeah, man. But uh, I've been working a little bit today. Sorry about that. I don't know what just happened. Uh, my my uh, pawpaw called. But anyway, we've been running electricity to this shop out here. Because like I said, right now I'm running off of extension cords. But that's okay. We have a new job. My papa has assigned me with this job and it is to fix his four wheeler. So yay. Uh, right as I get mine fixed, the tire goes flat in it. So it's down in the other barn because I need as much room as I need to tear this thing apart. Because what's wrong with it is it's leaking oil out of the shizer. It's leaking oil out of the... Um, The bottom of the motor. It's leaking out of there and there's oil going everywhere. So he has assigned me, and of course you guys. I mean, he didn't assign you guys, but I'm going to bring you with me along this adventure to tear this thing apart and fix it. Now, I think I'm going to pull it back this way a little bit because it's like in the way of my refrigerator and I'm fixing to put some drinks in there. So I'll pull it back some. So you guys get to experience me do all that crap. So, have fun as I pull this back. Okay, now, oh, I forgot I got that old trooper thing I need to put on it. But, just no longer than I had this thing in here, which ain't been for like five minutes, it's already leaked that much oil. Things I gotta fix. There. Now I may have a little bit more working room now. Alright. Alright, back to it. So, uh, stay tuned for this vlog. I'll sit back, get you a thing of popcorn, and, uh, Let's do this. Alright guys, sit back like I already said and enjoy what's about to happen. So if you've never took a tire off of something, never had to, I highly suggest using this right here. They're very, very expensive, but they're um, they're better than a brake over handle. If you don't know what that is, then tell me in the comments and I'll explain it to you in another video. I'll explain you about all these tools, what they do, and so, what you're going to want to do is, I should probably put the parking brake on, but not have to do But yeah, so, what you're going to want to do is, your first step to taking a tire off, of course, is take the lug nuts out. Which really isn't hard, that's what you need a socket for, and these lug nuts on this is a 13 millimeter wrench. 14 millimeter. Yeah, 14 millimeter. My bad. Why are these parking brakes suck on this thing? Alright, that's one. See? It's kind of like a break over handle, but it's a ratchet. And that's why I like these. Better. Yeah, see? Ten times easier than using a break over handle. Now see, I gotta do this on both sides. <clears throat> so yeah. Then, once you get done with that, you're going to want to jack it up, of course. But I might as well just go ahead and get this other side done. You can't see me on this side, but um, just you can hear the noises. I'll, I'll make it interesting. Oh, yeah, stick it on there. Oh, shoot. Uh, ow. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I really did say shoot. That wasn't supposed to be like for mature audiences. This I actually did do something and it kind of hurt. Oh, this thing's a top. Blame it on the pop bubble. Shoot. stuff. Now what you're going to need is a jack to get that thing up off the ground with. It's really not that hard to do. So watch and learn kids. You've never done this before. Just watch. And I'll show you. So I got my jack right here. I'll stick it up right up under the little ball. Okay. It's the easiest way to approach it. Stick your handle in right here and begin jacking. It seems that you, most of you guys, have uh, enjoyed the um, series or the the character I created, Billy Bob the Redneck Cop. Some of you have. Uh, well, mainly Gavin. He has a very, very good idea. Billy Bob works on four wheeler. Like if you want that, you want that to be a thing. Five locks, and I'll make it a thing. All right. We're gonna get something ready real quick. So now here comes the easy part where you're just going to get the socket and ratchet it in there until you get all your lug nuts off and then off comes your tire. It's just that easy. Just watch and learn in case you haven't done it. You can pretty much, now that I've got them loose, you just take the socket off and twist them off your socket this one. I usually take my leg and like straddle the tire because it's easier to do it like that and once you get the tire all the lugs lug nuts off it's easier to get the tire off. Most of your motor is back here. So this is going to be kind of difficult to do. I, I mean, that's clearly where the oil is coming from because all of your motor is back here in the back, which also isn't a very good thing when you're going up a steep hill because then your four-wheeler will be doing this because all your motor is back here. But the way these tires are made and the way that the back of the axle rear end's made, I like to uh, go mudding with this one. The only thing is, is it buries when you get stuck. All I gotta say is good luck getting one out. Oh, that's one tire. Since I got this one tire off, I'm gonna sit here and look at this for a minute. See if I can 
figure out where maybe most of this is coming from. Um, yeah, so I don't have, I see exactly where the oil is coming from. And this right here ain't under it at all. I need to get a bucket. Shoot. Yeah, I have to go get like a pan or a bucket or something. Cause like that, I can feel right here where the oil's dripping off of the bottom of the motor. It's like everywhere down here. But yeah, man, it'll probably be simple to do. I'm probably also gonna jack the front up and take the tires off the front. So I may need a little bit more room to work. So I'm gonna cut this vlog here, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, this little instructional video on how to basically take a tire off. When you do the same to a uh, truck or a car or a vehicle or something, if you got a flat, the only difference is is you'll have more lugs, lug nuts. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I guess I'll catch you guys. Well, I'll make another video for this four wheeler um, once I got it. All of everything tore apart and he's come apart. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and yes, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.